Now you may not have your own images for your website. So let's go ahead and get our first images for our website. Obviously you can take pictures yourself and create images that way. Um, but if you don't want to do that or you're in some sort of rush, um, or you know who knows why or you just like some image from uh, this website then you can use it so you want to open up a new tab and go to pixabay.com p-i-x-a-b-a-y dot c-o-m all right so now once we're on pixabay we can search for anything so um, let's search for mountain and snow and person or something like that and we can go ahead and look at all of these uh, different images and they they're uh, looking pretty good let's just look for mountain snow because there is this one image that I like in particular and so let me find it if I can hopefully I can find it it's a very cool image that home page image and I want to show you this very cool trick um, to make sure all the colors uh, coordinate. Um, so I'm not finding the image very well. Ah, finally, okay, found it. Sorry, it, it took so long. Blue Adventure, that's what I should have looked for. All right, so once we have an image, and, and these images are completely free, so they're copyright free, public domain, you can use them uh, for commercial use or anything else. No, you don't need to attribute it. You don't need to give them credit or anything, so it's very cool of them. Click on free download, and let's click on the large size. You don't want original, because that's just way too big. You can even go with medium and the smaller the size, the quicker it will be to download. So just click on the large and um, or medium and click download. All right, once it's downloaded, we can save it to our desktop. Easy breezy.